morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. It is about 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, a little bit earlier than that, but it's August the 15th, 2024. U.S. nuclear subcarrier strike group gets new orders as all-out war appears imminent there. Uh, this is being reported by Microsoft. An American carrier strike group is being redeployed to a new area of operations of head of war. It looks almost certain, and the warships will be joined uh, joined there there by a nuclear submarine that can bring a knockout punch to any fight. The orders were announced Sunday by by the Department of Defense. Uh, these powerful naval assets are being moved to the military central command area, which covers the Middle East and much of Central Asia. The number one command priority of force is to deter Iran, and that's being said mainly because Iran on this particular, uh, well, not just this particular video, this is on today, uh, uh, it looks like USA Today, but, uh, you know, they are saying that they're, the, the calls from the U.S. and allies to hold retaliation is just not going to happen. Uh, Israel already bogged down with Gaza. And uh, let's listen in just for a moment here. Iran's president saying, the country has the right to respond. A senior U.S. official tells NBC News Iran is still deciding how and when. President Biden said he hopes a wider crisis can still be averted if Israel and Hamas agree to a ceasefire and hostage deal. Do you have the understanding that Iran could cease or stop doing a, an action if a ceasefire deal is possible? That's my expectation. We'll see. But there is very little hope this morning for the talks. Hamas says it already agreed to a U.S. proposal a month ago and won't attend a new round of negotiations set for this week, accusing Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu of stalling to keep the war going. And, I and very sad to say that there is so much truth to that <clears throat> that he is actually stalling just to keep the war going. Al Jazeera was reporting yesterday the attack uh, here. I want to play a little clip of that there that Israel just did that left 100 people dead, many of them women and children. Where now schools have become regular targets <clears throat> for the military. For desperate Palestinians, this school in the Shuja'iya neighborhood of Gaza City served as a temporary home. Israeli forces issued new evacuation orders for nine areas in Khanunis, warning they would forcefully operate against Palestinian fighters there. Look at what is happening to us. By the time we reach an area, the Israelis want us to leave, as if it were their own land. The whole world is watching. The world must act and find a solution to our agony. The Israeli forces have bombed areas in the north, South and center of the Gaza Strip, the latest evacuation orders are causing panic because with Israeli repeatedly targeting so-called safe zones, there's no guarantee they will be safe where they go next. <clears throat> Just really sad the situation there happening on the ground in Gaza. Uh, and you know the thing is, sometimes people think they think to themselves, well, you know, Steve, this is this is you as an American saying that, uh, even though you are Jewish descent. Uh, let me play for you this clip here. This is an Israeli right here, just came out. By the way, because he spoke out, he is now in solitary confinement in prison in Israel for speaking his heart. Listen to what he says. Here in <clears throat> Israel, for generations, we... We kill the Palestinians. We injure the Palestinians. We have more than 1,500 Palestinians in administrative detention. We demolish their houses here in Jerusalem. We cut down their olive trees. We confiscate their property, their waters. And most Israelis expect them to accept it and when they do and when they don't accept it they react in violent way they blame them the Palestinians for most Israelis I mean we hold millions of Palestinians under occupation for generations 
they are de deprived their basic rights. And for most Israelis, it can go on forever. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm not justifying the, the, the violence. But this is the, the, the I think, the, the, the realistic conclusion. <clears throat> I'll pause it there. I'll put that in the description for you to below to, to listen to the rest of this uh, clip from M.E. there. And I, I agree with him. I do not justify the violence that uh, Hamas does or, or any other side on the Palestinian the suicide bombings. But like you said, this is, I think, the realistic conclusion. How, how more point in it could you be than to make a point the state make a statement like that it is true it is the realistic conclusion you know they're going to react i mean do you expect people to be caged up for all this time and then not respond to be deprived of everything they're olive groves i'm talking about olive groves that are so in some cases trees in there are nearly two thousand years old and they just go in there and obliterate it you know, for Jewish people, if this is the history of Israel from 2,000 years ago, and you go and obliterate such trees just because Palestinians have it, what do you say to yourselves? This is really sad. Israelis, I ask the Israeli people, you're the only ones that can put the pressure on your government to get them to stop what they're doing. This is truly a crime, and this is totally against what Moses was told by God to you. Do not oppress your neighbors when you're living there because you know what it's like to live under oppression does the Holocaust mean nothing I have extended family that died in the Holocaust most of my immediate family came to the US because of the persecution of Jewish people in Germany on my mother's side that is so I have to ask the question when 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 will you hold accountable because it's your government that's doing it. It is a handful of radicals. But then again, there's so many in the military that have been blinded, not knowing who was behind the Hamas attack. Think about it. Uh, let's continue on with other news as well. Um, the U.S. has deployed nuclear submarine to the Middle East, as I mentioned to you earlier, and and a lot. And of course, the big issue is because the uh, prelude has come to World War III, as this article here shows, and the fact that these Russian-made these, by the way, they are Russian-made missiles that were given to Iran, that Iran give to Hezbollah, uh, they can bypass the Iron Dome. Clearly. So it's really ramping up now because uh, it's not going to stay silent forever. This here was just very interesting to see here. The Taliban, of course, they've got Russian helicopters. That's normal because Russia uh, backs the Taliban right now. Or they have fought the Taliban, but I assume they're backing them now. But anyway, to see all this American equipment on the ground that they are parading yeah, through the streets... In Afghanistan, because the Biden administration left it all behind for them. You know, American troops, what, what do you expect them to face in the Middle East now? Now they got to face their own equipment armed by uh, the Taliban if they, if they go back into any kind of confrontations there in the Middle East. Now we're going to be faced with our own equipment fighting us. It's really becoming very, 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 very sinister. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, Etna, I got this uh, this morning from uh, Volcanic, excuse me, uh, Volcaholic uh, One there on Twitter, uh, posting these latest images here. This uh, is in, uh, what is it, Sicily? No, I want to say it's Sicily here. Let me look and see the name again. Uh, Mount Etna and uh, going off there. And it is definitely going off in a blaze of glory right now. So many volcanoes around the world. I haven't talked about that much lately. But maybe I can do an update on Patreon on just how serious this world is shaking up from on the inside out. And, uh, and also, too, we'll be doing another interview very soon. Uh, a good friend of ours, Jennifer, and I meant to interview her several years back. And I know her through LifeWave as well. 
Uh, her husband is the one that had the Morgellons that was uh, cl nearly 100, well, about 90% cleared up from using the LifeWave. But anyway, an amazing lady, and I had forgot about her story over the years because we talked once, but, uh, but we're going to get her on. I'm going to be talking to her this weekend, and we're going to bring her on. We'll share it over on Patreon to start with there before coming here to the Israeli News Live, so if you want to get a sneak peek of that interview before we do that, uh, definitely support the channel on Patreon. We greatly appreciate it. And also, let me just uh, say too, you know, with all these threats of war, I didn't even bring out North Korea, their threats right now that they're doing because of the military drills that are being done uh, over by the United States and with uh, South Korea. We're facing more and more threats from home than we ever have. So don't forget about an EMP shield. Uh, there's all types of that they have there, um, uh, battery protection. Just I'll cl I'm clicking on different ones, different times for you, just so you can see. Uh, and I, and I would assume, well, battery, I'm not really sure what the battery protection is there for 12 volt battery protection. Um, let me back up because I want to use something that for me is more realistic. I mean, and maybe that is for some of you out there. I, I don't want to say it's not. I'm sure it is. Uh, radio protection. This is what um, Mr. Uh, um, or the president of the company of uh, EMP Shield was sharing with us. And that we're waiting on the final uh, review. There's one more edit we have to do on the EMP Shield documentary that we did behind the scenes. Fabulous work there. But anyway, if you need to get something like this here, these are for the radios that they have. Uh, you can learn more about it. You can just purchase it, uh, get it into your cart there, save $50 by uh, using the INL50 coupon code. All right, that's always very important that you do that. You, when you go to your cart to check out, regardless of how many items you buy, when you use INL50 uh, coupon code, as soon as I get through with all the junk that comes up on my computer, uh, and you put that in there, type in INL for Israeli News Live 50, they will take an additional $50 off your order that you do there. So anyway, we appreciate you. God bless you. And uh, oh, this time it actually worked. It showed that it removed the $50. So, so happy to see that. Went down to $299 uh, instead of $349. So this is exactly what it's supposed to do. Sometimes on my side, I do it so much showing it, it kind of gets, gets, gets blocked in the system. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. God bless you. Have a great day. Later today, by the way, later today, live, you'll have myself and my wife, Yana Benoon. We will be speaking again, going into part two of these Noahide laws. And uh, it's very important because it is a reality that we face, something that needs to be spoken about. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live. God bless you.